Which one? Do you want to cry or you want to smile? I'm not 100% sure. Oh, he's... Show me your skill. Show me your skill. For the blog. Say hi, blog. <laughs> Vlog. Good morning everyone! Um, Leah and Jason said that we should be called the Geek Squad. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that a good idea? That's like a Best Buy, right? The Geeks. Yep. Geek Squad. We might get, we might get sued. <laughs> That's copyright. <laughs> We're going to the commissary. Because it's Saturday. I thought she was sleeping. She's awake. Okay. He was. He went that way. I didn't understand what that guy was doing. Asian driver, no survivor. Was he Asian? I'm Asian. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> seem doing it to anybody else but she was really rude and I'm like you guys doing that because of my tattoos like do you guys really think I was like because I know that when you scan this my picture's popping up do you think that you're not a veteran she was rude man a rude it's like I'm a veteran no she was just really rude about showing my ID it's white out it's crazy did it smell us grocery shopping we are going to buy a lot of food because we might go on lockdown I'm kidding <laughs> plus what was the new um, what was the new rule of the commander we cannot eat if we come to the base we cannot go out and eat outside if you are a retiree, a dependent, active duty military, Just if you work on base, DOD contractor, GS, any of the above, if you eat at an off base establishment like a restaurant, you are not permitted to come on base. Oh, but how are they going to track that down? They're not. Okay. It's crazy how they come up with these rules. So yeah, that's the, the update about Alaska base right now. I don't know how they're gonna implement it or track the people. Because outside the base, there's Raisin Cane's, McDonald's. How about drive through Can they go? No, you can't. You just can't sit down in a restaurant. Okay. Morning everyone. Morning because yesterday I didn't vlog at the commissary because there was so many people. I don't know why. But then yesterday I found out that we are on another I think lockdown. I'm not sure. But I heard that uh, the governor um, released another memo or something like that. There's another guideline. It's just never ending. I don't know what's gonna happen. But that's probably why there were a lot of people at the commissary. Plus, I get really shy to use my 
camera when there's a lot of people normally there's not that much but yesterday was different and also maybe because holidays coming up and they didn't want to wait until this weekend to shop so whatever and yesterday also we celebrated our 11th year anniversary we stayed home all day we cleaned and we're just gonna prepare for uh, and then we just prepared for the holidays so that's what's going on i wanted to share to you guys that um a year ago around this time exactly in our 10th year anniversary i found out that i was expecting it's amazing that when i found out i wasn't exactly excited it's crazy i i really wasn't excited right away because you, you know i wanted it for so long but then i we gave up on the hope because we were told oh you can't have a baby but then all of a sudden like boom it happened i i forgot to track my period and everything and then yeah i, I just wanted to let you guys know that blessings comes in a in very unexpected time i just wanted to reiterate that it's never your time it's always god's perfect time so if you are trying to uh, conceive right now or you are praying for something just be patient he's got his own perfect time and just wait for it and it's gonna happen i know it's really really hard because i was on that phase before that's why i wasn't really like exactly excited i was nervous i was scared because i don't know if i could be a good parent and now a year later oh my gosh i should have not wasted my time worrying and being nervous though it it was it was just really normal because you know bringing another person in this world try to and and make sure that she will be a happy and responsible human being as she grows up it's just amazing um you know and now i couldn't even imagine what i was doing before a baby like what was i doing i had so much time in my hand i think and when i say i was so busy before girl you have to rethink that it's just funny but by the way over the weekend i found the best thing at the thrift store <laughs> once in a while i go to the thrift store to find some goodies uh some treasures i don't know i'm not so creative so i don't really find a whole lot but when i do um i make sure that i will use it that's useful and it's not just gonna sit in there and collect dust so this time, I'm going to show you guys. It's really exciting. Here's what I found. This is a... It's like a picture frame. But you can open it and you can put something. It's magnetic. Where you can close it. And then you can just have it like that. And it can stand as a... Uh, like a frame, picture frame. Or you can hang it. So, this is a perfect thing to put grace's first like their first onesie that daddy bought her the first hat that she wore uh first ultrasound when she was like a little black i am keeping one of her bow as a memorabilia i also have these little shoes that Kristen gave us and my pregnancy test i've never shown you guys my pregnancy test i kept this because after 100 pregnancy tests finally have a positive it's like it's freaking real it's two lines you can see so yeah look at that amazing right and i got it for five dollars and 99 cents this is perfectly this is exactly what i was looking for because if i put these things in a box the tendency is i might lose it or we might move someday or something like that so i wanted to i have been looking for something like this exactly and perfect size and can hold the perfect amount i we are also adding her hospital tag and some other things that mark got at his desk but it's not final yet i'm going to show you guys the final product when it's complete but it's so durable this is originally from Nordstrom so look at that 
and I did not take off the tag. I wiped this and everything already, but I did not take off the tag yet because I know I'm going to have to. I really want to vlog this. And it comes with the pen. I actually already pinned this, um, the onesie. Look. And it's really cool. It stays intact. I love it. It really pays to go to uh, the thrift store sometimes. Though you have to make sure that you're cautious because of everything that's going on and make sure that you clean everything that you bought when you get home or washed everything. Because, so you know, we just wanted to make sure that we are safe. Enjoy your dinner. You did. Hi. 